Hi, my name is Bernard Sheridan. I'd like to welcome you back to Parbreakers Golf Academy. We're located in Limerick, Pennsylvania. And uh, it's a rainy day in June here in the Northeast. Uh, the, uh, the U.S. Open is coming up right in my backyard here. It's at Marion. And um, today I just hopped up onto the web and took a look at one of the guys who is um, who is swinging real well and scoring real well today on the PGA Tour, and that is Harris English. And uh, I pulled up his swing and decided that I really wanted to show you guys his swing because this gentleman has a wonderful setup and a fantastic swing. Okay, and we're going to look at some key points today that he has in his swing that you can use in yours okay now there's a couple different things that we're going to look at and I have a split screen here so the first thing I want to do is I want to draw a line up the shaft on this face on and I want you to take a look at where this is kinda of going in relationship to his body okay so that shaft is slightly tilted forward okay and if we look at where that shaft is pointing at his waist it's really just at that first belt loop left of his belt buckle on the target side so and the and the club is sold on the leading edge behind the ball okay so this is a setup at a dress that I like to have a lot of my students have with the hands slightly forward because for the average player the hands want to return forward and uh, if they are set up slightly forward at a dress so so this is going to help you uh, essentially get just a hair forward shaft lean and hit the ball a little bit higher on the face uh, and if you notice too that when the shaft is set up like this, by the time that shaft starts to reach bottom, it's going to be, it's going to actually be on its upswing to the ball here when he strikes the ball. All right, so we're going to get rid of that at the moment, and we're going to see what happens on that initial takeaway. And we can see that by the time he gets to the, his back leg, his hands get to his back leg that his right wrist isn't breaking down yet which is good if we look at that over here on the right we can see it really prominently here and the shaft is staying right down the line here he is in the same position and his right wrist is not breaking down in any way shape or form he's pretty much maintaining his knee flex by this point and then by the time he gets to be gets the shaft parallel to the ground the shaft is definitely out in front of him okay and there's that club head out in front of him out in front of his hands so if we look here this is about where he would be here okay so his shoulders by this point are turned at about 45 degrees to the target line which we can see down the line here very well and everything is pretty much staying steady and as he begins to start to hinge his way to the top and gets that arm parallel to the ground what I want you to notice is that his hands are right in front of his chest so this whole motion here of the takeaway all the way up to parallel to the ground is not just arms it is definitely shoulders and arms moving together okay this is a great position starts to load up head gets a little bit behind the ball by the time he gets to this position okay as he moves to the top the wrist unhinge or or should I say hinge rehinge and then as he starts down he clears and everything begins to get parallel okay so let's look at it here and it's easier to see there they fully his wrist fully hinge and now off he goes starting down now let's look and see what the first thing moves on the way down and it says his left hip starts to clear 
as he turns in and lets his hands drop. So we're going to see his hands drop here. Pretty nice position. There's where the hands really drop and the lag begins to happen. Okay. We can notice too how much his hips have rotated here. Okay, we can see right over here his his left leg peeking out behind his right. As he's coming into impact, what I want you to notice is too how that heel is starting to come up off the ground, okay? That's showing a true weight transfer. Here it is here. Great weight transfer. Head is still behind the ball, okay? Really nice position. Here's the other thing that I want you to notice right here at impact. Flat left wrist. Arms are directly in front of core, okay? This is a major one that we've always talked about here at Par Breakers, all right? As he turns through, he lets the club go up a little bit and hangs back just slightly, okay? But really straightens that left leg out, okay? And the thing that he, so he's very supple, all right? He's able to do that pretty easily. Let's look at it here, and we can see that. As he's coming through, he comes out on plane. And he's because of he's so supple, his hips are also thrusting forward. Okay, so if we look at that, his pelvic area is thrusting forward now to the target. And when he finishes, he has an absolute full release. This is a very supple player here. Okay. So it might be tough for your for all of us to get in that position. So at the finish, because we can see how his right foot is actually right at about one o'clock here, as opposed to twelve o'clock. Okay. So and that's not that easy to do. Got to have a tremendous amount of flexibility to get that to happen. What I want you to notice here, though, is that I draw a line from left heel straight up. His head is, is right over top of that thing, okay? Right over top. So what we can look at in order to get through that impact position, instead of trying to keep your head back as quite as much as this, okay, as soon as that happens, let that head, instead of keeping your head down like this, let that head release towards the target That'll put less pressure on your lower back, okay, right through impact, okay, because um, most of us aren't that supple to be able to put, put our back into this kind of position through impact. But great finish, okay, and that's what we're really trying to get to. So if we let that head rotate like we've talked about what Tiger is starting to do, because um, Tiger's not a kid anymore, there's no doubt about that, and... Um, and how Annika used to do, and how we're seeing some other players starting to follow suit. Um, this is going to relieve a lot of lower back strain. It's going to allow the body to move through to a full finish, and so that your head is directly over your left heel when you finish, as opposed to hanging back. Okay. So hopefully this this little look at a very supple swing, um, but a great swing and a lot of great things that are going on there will help you in your swing. So as always, thanks so much for taking a look at Par Breakers Golf Academy and letting us help you take control of your game. It's an absolute honor to be able to show you these things in golf, and I'm so pleased that you've chosen to watch Par Breakers. Please leave your comments below, and if there's any videos that you would like to see, or any swings that you would like to see us break down at Par Breakers, please let us know, because we this channel is here for you, and we're here to help your game. So for Par Breakers Golf Academy in Limerick, Pennsylvania, I'm Bernard Sheridan. As always, thanks so much for being with us, and I'll see you next time.